I'm going to do an exercise for American Mahjong using National Mahjong League rules. The purpose of this exercise is to test your instincts. I call it Charleston Chain Reaction because every decision you make in the Charleston can impact the next. In this exercise, we're going to do two iterations. The first will go with a category or hand that we think has the most promise. We'll take photos along the way and then recreate it and play something different and compare results. If you have a set of tiles at home, give it a try. If you're new to Mahjong, or if you already know how to play and just want to build your skills, consider subscribing to my channel. That way you won't miss anything. Jokers, a flower, pair of dragons, pair of one dots, four, five, eight, single three bam, one, three, four in cracks. If these were your tiles, what would you focus on for the first iteration? And what might be another choice? If these were my tiles, I would focus on these two pairs, ones and the green dragons, numbers with ones. Like numbers with ones, we might not even be able to use that. We could maybe play a quint if the like numbers doesn't work out. There is some potential for little odds. One, three, five. So let's focus on either a quint or like numbers with ones. And then next iteration, we'll focus on little odds. I'm going to take a photo. Let's put them in order. Oh, we'll put this here. Okay, we're gonna take a photo now. Because we need to recreate this. Okay, like numbers with ones or a quint. like numbers. I think no matter how we slice this, it's going to be risky. Let's take it one pass at a time. Let's see. Let's pass those. Take a photo. We want like numbers with ones. We do have some consecutive here, and there is a consecutive hand with the opposite dragons, but we would need the white dragon for that. We do have tiles we can pass though. I think this would be a little safer. We'll take a photo of that. It looks like consecutive tiles might be good here, but we do have a pair in there. Maybe a quint with either ones or twos. Let's put in an even number. 
We'll take a photo of that. This quint might be looking better. If we play like numbers with ones, we need a one bam and a white dragon. We did get a red dragon. We have like numbers though. I would keep the multiple, break up the like numbers. This quint looks really good, and we have options. Optional cross. Ooh, another option. Let's see, one five. The flowers don't work with little odds in one suit anyway. There is a multiplication hand that uses three five, but one five, not so much. So this quint, I don't know if that really was a good choice with these tiles. Let's focus on little odds or maybe consecutive run because little odds filled in could go with consecutive run. So we're going to recreate this and see if little odds or consecutive run was a better choice. Okay, little odds. I don't think we can use that. There's little odds, but we do have fours. Little odds looks pretty good. Let's pass these three. No keepers. We did get an odd tile though. One, three, five, seven, nine. Two, six, four. I think we were thinking maybe consecutive run though. There's one, two, three, one, five, three, one, two, three. Let's pass these. Two, four. One, two, three, four, ones. One, two, one, two, three. Let's focus on consecutive run. Flower. There is a hand. One, two, three, four, single pair, Pong Kong. Let's break up the one. We did get a dragon. Four. There's a pair. Single pair, Pung Kong. One. We need a 
single single pair pung kong we got a flower tiles to pass oh we got the red dragon i think though single pair pung kong we're set we can kong pung kong three discards I would say consecutive run was the way to go with these tiles, as opposed to like numbers. We leveraged the dragons and the one dot, but no other ones came in. Consecutive run is extremely flexible. And these tiles, th this could be a pretty quick win, begin game win. Building around multiples is usually the best way to start when you first get your drawn hand, but you've got to reassess as the Charleston progresses because Every decision you make can really change the trajectory of that hand. We were focused on little odds or consecutive run with the second iteration. Clearly, consecutive run was the way to go with these tiles. Like numbers with ones, leveraging the pairs of dragons and one dots just didn't work because there were no other ones in those tiles. Consecutive run by far is the most flexible category on the card. And that might be one reason why it worked in this case. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, consider subscribing. Click that little gray bell if you do. That way you'll get notification for when I post new videos and you won't miss an opportunity to learn a new strategy or pick up an insight to the game that could give you an advantage at the table. Between now and the next video, may all your picks be keepers.